Hello, my name is Kenneth Berthelet and I'm a senior scientist in the chemistry R&D group here at Waters Corporation. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about hydrophilic interaction chromatography or HILIC. The first thing I want to start with is the retention mechanisms at play in HILIC. The main retention mechanisms are partitioning, ion exchange interactions, and adsorption. Partitioning is when analytes distribute themselves between the mobile phase and the adsorbed aqueous layer on the surface of the particles, and is driven by the polarity of the analyte. A good measure of retention via the partitioning mechanism is the log p value, which is a measure of how the analytes partition between octanol and water, with lower log p values being associated with greater retention in hillock. Ion exchange mechanisms also exist and are driven by oppositely charged analytes and stationary phases interacting. Both ion exchange and partitioning can happen at the same time and can add complexity to the meth development process. The last retention mechanism, absorption, is when the analytes interact directly with the stationary phase as opposed to the adsorbed aqueous layer. This happens when the water content in the mobile phase is very low, typically below 3%. All of these mechanisms play a role in hillock separations and need to be considered during method development. Another important factor to consider in hillock is the choice of the stationary phase. As with many method development activities, changing stationary phases can affect both retention and selectivity. The three most popular stationary phases in hillock are unbonded silica, which acts as a cation exchanger, amide materials which are neutral yet highly polar, and zwitterionic materials which contain both positively and negatively charged groups in a one-to-one -one molar ratio. Each of these have their own strengths and weaknesses when analyzing different mixtures of analytes. As with any method development activity, performing experiments quickly is very important. High efficiency UPLC columns packed with sub-2 micron particles can dramatically speed up separations. For UPLC applications, it's important that the columns are mechanically stable and compatible with high flow rates. However, not all columns are designed to withstand high pressures and high flow rates. For instance, many polymer-based stationary phases are not compatible with high pressure as they are mechanically weak. Waters hillock UPLC columns use either silica or ethylene-bridged hybrid particles, which are both mechanically strong and yield high column efficiencies. Even if pressure is not a main concern, speeding up a separation is always advantageous and using UPLC systems and columns can help achieve that goal. Additionally, the pH stability of the stationary phase is very important. Changing the mobile phase pH during column screening can modulate selectivity by altering the charge states of the analytes and potentially the stationary phase. However, not all columns are compatible with high pH mobile phases. Most silica-based materials are not stable above pH 8 because the silica particles begin to dissolve, leading to column voiding and large efficiency losses. However, columns packed with BEH-based stationary phases have improved high pH stability, making them ideal for method development approaches that involve screening both acidic and basic mobile phases. One other challenge in hillock meth development, particularly in the analysis of metal-sensitive compounds, is poor peak shape due to interactions with the metal surfaces in both the LC system and the column. This effect can be mitigated by adding chelators to the mobile phase, but this can lead to detrimental effects, including changes in selectivity, retention, and sensitivity, particularly when using mass spectrometry detection. Having a better solution to this problem would significantly improve meth development activities for metal-sensitive analytes. If you'd like to be the first to know about the newest Hillock column from Waters coming out in October, please check out the link below and sign up. Thank you very much for joining me.